The future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also their live action TV series that come on Disney+, Plus, as well as their new Star Wars trilogy of films, and their other movies that's currently in the early development phase by both Bob Iger, Bob Chapek, and Disney in general. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now the thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that as of this moment right now is that they are building over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects for Disney Plus alone in order to really create a better and brighter future for the franchise and also order to really evolve the Star Wars universe beyond anything it ever has really been. And that's their main plan right now is that they want to make it more successful than it ever was before, even more so than the MCU, which I think is going to be a very hard task if you think about it, because the MCU pretty much already had its universe established. All they had to do was transfer that into the form of live action, and that's exactly what Disney did. So looking at everything here with the MCU, everything with the SWU, whether or not the Star Wars universe will top the MCU, it really all depends on how Bob Iger and Chapek are really going to hire specific creatives and really promoting specific creators as well, like Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau in the mix. Now, on top of all of this, with over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the works at Disney+, Plus, that really is a big deal for starters because that's separate from the movies and that's just live action and animated TV series. And that right then and there just tells you that they're really trying to create a library's worth of Star Wars content on Disney+. Plus. So now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as their new Star Wars universe. It's known that both Bob Chapek and Bob Iger are working together as a team in order to create a better and brighter future for the Star Wars franchise. It's explained that they have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the early development phase for Disney Plus alone for their TV shows, where one of which is the live-action all-female-led Star Wars TV series by Leslie Headland. Now, Bob Chapek is actually described to be very angry over this decision by Kathleen Kennedy for hiring Hendland since she was the former personal assistant of Harvey Weinstein, which gives Disney a bad image on their part from the fans. Both Bob Iger and Chapek have been trying to build a plan to fire Leslie Hedlund before principal photography begins sometime next year. However, they are said to be having a difficult time coming up with a valid reason to let her go since it's a complex process through Leslie's contract after she was already hired by Kennedy. Now, since Hedlund was announced to be the writer of the new series of StarWars.com, many, st many fans were very against the idea of a TV show since it was announced on StarWars.com that will introduce tons of identity politics and personal agendas in this new series. Now, a format that Kathleen Kennedy has been wanting to see on Disney Plus with Star Wars for a number of years now includes a TV show with such identity politics. It's explained that Hedlund is going to meet with Bob Chapek at the very end of May in an attempt to reverse some of Hedlund's ideas and concepts for the show. Bob Chapek and Iger are said to have come up with a plan by going through the contract where they are able to restrict certain story elements to be told in this new Star Wars TV series by Hedlund and that they plan to meet with her at the end of May to inform her on what is described by taking things too far in the series. Now, Chapek is said to be against both Kathleen Kennedy and Hedlund's approach on Star Wars, and that he and Iger are trying their best to cancel Hedlund's approach to her new Star Wars TV series that would be full of identity politics and agendas of the Star Wars franchise. Meanwhile, Hedlund still has the power as well as Kennedy on how they can choose to act in the series of, of course, who can direct also a certain number of episodes for the TV show on Disney+, Plus, and that, of course, will redefine Star Wars as we know it. Now, thankfully, this is Kennedy's one and last project, her last hurrah, if you will, that she will have creative power over, and that Kennedy is not is now allowed, of course, and not actually allowed to alter specific projects in the works at this point other than this one. Now, thanks to Bob Chapek and Bob Iger, fans are already up in arms over Kennedy's decision, and Disney is already aware of the backlash by the fans. So, a lot of fans would argue whether or not the backlash is way premature, right? Now, to me, it's not premature because we know what Kennedy and Hedlund are trying to do. They're trying to really embrace the identity politics, the personal agendas, and the real-world issues, and just throwing the Star Wars label on top of that 
for this new project on Disney Plus that's really going to serve as something of its own. It's going to be like its own standalone project that's not going to be true to Star Wars. And that to me I think sounds like a disaster. It sounds like it's not really going to work well with fans. And to me I think it's just going to give Disney a bad image on what Star Wars really is or what it really could be. But like I say, I mean, thankfully, you know, Bob Chapek and Iger are talking, they're coming up and formulating a plan to essentially cancel out specific key ideas by Leslie Headland and Kennedy by contract. They are, they are able to restrict specific story elements that would be told in this new series. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.